Oh, chat, it's been so nice changing the cable to use for my controller. Because it just always works now. Uh, the days of my suffering are over. The days of plugging in my controller and not working are over. Uh, that has been... No, I haven't really thought about it, but it's been a blessing. Alright, time to make sure that there is audio. Yes, there is. Alright, so we're still doing... I'm still fucking doing this. I'm not disappeared. So, I do have a video pulled up of Jean Wei. Of, like, his weapon builds. The guy uses the 5th star and 6th star weapon, respectively. But, unfortunately, we don't have the time to do that. So, hey, homie, I'm trying to talk to chat. Um, so, we are just gonna... Or I am just gonna, like, upgrade the weapon. So that way it doesn't feel like dog water. When I'm, like, trying to play as him. And I couldn't, like, upgrade him off stream or anything. Because then it would ruin the this battle. Like, I'd have to redo this battle, and I didn't want to do that. Hello, Draded. Horseback. Oh, God damn it, dude. Why Why horseback only? With this character? Come on, man. Can I, can I please finish the game? Anyways, thank you for being here. Thank you for being here, dude. Hope you're doing well. You know, maybe we can do horseback only full play. I'd rather not, dude. I'd really rather not because I want to actually finish this game. I'd rather like, please. I want to finish this game in an app in a, like a good amount of time. What is that? Oh, Pong Tong. I was like, what the fuck? Thanks, Pong Tong, for helping out there. I would have to deny that challenge if you made me do a horseback only. Oh my god, please. Get away from me. Uh, speak Korean? Okay. Um, let me think of something. Hmm. Uh, Nashirohe. I don't want to, or I don't like it. Oh, I killed him. Interesting. Alright, walking. Stop walking, homie. Oh my god, can you guys relax? There we go, finally. Yeah, Shirohe is like, I don't like it or I hate it, pretty much. Ugh. That delay where you can't attack. Fucking in my life, dude. That delay where you can't attack while you're in horseback is gross. I hate it. We're probably going to have to reset with this challenge. Traded. I'm going to have to cancel any further horseback challenges in the future. I'll do it now, but... Uh, so I'm having flaming tendies, but get this dipped in... Dill? What do you mean, dill? Like, dill sauce, or like... Dill pickles? What do you mean? Uh... Can I get my charge tag, please? There we go, Jesus. I don't know why the charge tag is so hard to... Dill cream cheese? Yo, that sounds pretty fucking good, actually. Okay. okay. There we go. Now that I've got him in the air. Now that I juggle this man in the air. Okay. I'm gonna change weapon. God, when they change weapon, it's really fucking annoying. Because I can't do anything about it once they change it. Oh, you... Can you stop changing weapon, homie? God damn it. 
Oh my god, this guy was relentless with the fucking weapon switches. Ugh. This would be so much- the horseback challenge would not actually be that bad if I could actually do it on red hair. Yeah, the horseback challenge would not be that bad if I could do it on red hair at least. Because at least with red hair, I don't have to worry about like... Um, I don't have to worry about like not moving anymore. Because like after you run over a certain amount of enemies, the horse just kind of gives up. Yeah, no, I don't want to because I want to finish this game, Draded, honest, in all honesty. So no more horseback challenges after this one because, like, I'm, like, I really want to finish this game. I don't want to be, especially since we're, like, we're pretty much, we're really close to the end. Uh, other challenges are fine, but I don't want to do another horseback challenge because it takes too long. And then if I die, then, you know, I have to reset, so. Yeah, so no more horseback challenges. Because, you know, I do want to move on with my life. I don't want to be stuck here forever. Oh, nice. If I can juggle the enemy officer, it's not too bad. But it just takes too long. Or said with a cancel sign over it. How tough is it, emote? <laughs> when? Uh, well, you know, if I was good at making emotes, then I would have an emote for you then. <laughs> if I- if I- if I was good at making, uh, emotes, I would do that. Oh, come on, please, the charge move. There we go, Jesus. I don't know why that charge move is so hard to, like, activate sometimes. Oh my god, the juggling on a horse is ridiculous. Thank you for being here, Drayden. Hope you're doing well. Enjoy those uh, those spicy tendies. Oh, God, you guys wrecking me right now. It's not good. I hate this. I don't know if I can do this with, with John Way. I'll probably die here. Uh, of course he has defense time, too. What was that? Uh, can't stop photo horse sign. Oh, let me check. Please open the link. Thanks. Um. Oh, but I have to pay for it? Nah, man. Nah, man. Nah, I'm good. I could copy it. Make my own. Man, these guards. Fuck your techniques. I guess the good thing is that John Wei doesn't have a Muso that reaches. Oh, get him, Pong Tong. Yeah, set that bitch on fire. Nice. You know, I never actually under I never knew that there's a website where you could pay for stock images. There we go. There we go. I wish I could juggle this man more. Ooh, get away from me. Is he changing weapon again? Jesus. Stop changing weapon, homie. Okay, they got him. Olden day NFTs. Oh, you know what? That's true. That's old. That's true. Oh, why did they take me off the horse? Oh, interesting. Olden day NFTs is not wrong. That's a great way to describe those. Must be something we can do. Can't There's believe we got through John Way. We can use the siege weapons within it to force open a path. Okay. There you go. It's me. Open the it's me. Yeah, I never, I never paid for a stock image ever. If you paid for a stock image, uh, you're probably working for a company. Ow! Come on. These peasants, stop hitting me. Eh. Yeah. 
Can you stop blocking, sir? There we go. There we go. Once you get an officer in the air, and it's it's pretty good. It's all over for them. <laughs> Once they're in the air, it's all over for them. The problem is these basic enemies. God damn it, these shitty enemies. Jump up, there we go. Come on. Sorry, I'm like so focused right now, chat. I can't really speak that much because I'm like. I don't think he's SS tier. I don't think he's triple S tier. Where's this officer? Oh, there he is. Oh, what the? Okay, hold on. I didn't see Lee Dion and UA Jean show up. Okay, there we go. I'd probably die here, chat. Okay. God, it'd be great if I could use my horse muso on these guys. <laughs> okay. Fucking hit him once. Did no damage, great. Yeah, the problem is, like, not even... The problem is not even, like, the... The officers. The problem is, like, the little basic enemies that are showing up. Like, all of these, like, basic-ass enemies. And fighting two officers at once is not ideal. Nothing I can do there. Alright, thanks. Alright, no more horse thing. I don't wanna I don't wanna do it. Uh not PlayStation, play all foods. Uh yeah. Okay. I promise to give my best and live up to my brave father's reputation. If I can just finish this game today, that would be what I wanna do. Uh, hey, yes, shoot, shoot, please. Uh, well, we get to play as Guan Yinping again, at least. Guan Yinping is good. Oh, we have to play as Xing Sai again. Ah, uh, damn it! I want to play as Xing Sai again. I mean, there's horses, but like, like I said, Draded, I don't. I really, I really want to finish this game, like more than anything. I don't finish this game today. I'm gonna be a little, be a little upset. Uh, because like, I want to start the next week with a new game. Because if I can finish this game today, then at least we can start next week with a new game. And then, um, you know, do some new challenges or whatever. I'm gonna be a little sad if I if I can't finish this game today. So I'll try to have to go through it as quickly as I can. And then we still have to deal with Sean Wei. <sighs> the battle with Shing Tsai is not hard. It's just not very fun. But the battle with Sean Wei is not great. So I have to, like, buff him up. So I have to go in, like... Um, I have to go into ambition mode. To have to, like, buff him up so that way we can at least play that battle somewhat decently. The Guan Yinping is best girl. I guess if anything, it gives me more chance to get more weapons, more money, to like level up Zhao, uh, John Wei. Oh. That's not the direction I wanted you to go. But it was cool though to see uh, Ellie Lanster play as Guan Yinping yesterday after my, my stream with uh, with uh, Guan Yinping. That was very cool. I never played as Guan Yinping in Dynasty Warriors 3, but, or sorry, Dynasty Warriors 3, Dynasty Warriors 9 Empires, uh, but she looked stupid fun. She looked really, really fun to play as. Uh, oh, no, that. I'll have to go over here. Ow. Hey, can you... Yeah, thanks. 
Okay. Now we can climb to the top of the cliff. Make your way to the floodgate. Ah, uh, Shushu sounds just. Shushu's the worst. He sounds not great. He looks not great. Uh, just not a great character overall. It's hard to believe they anticipated our flood attack so quickly. Hey, get that. Bye, Pongo. <laughs> oh, he's ridiculous. Thank God Grand Calabash hit me up with that elemental activation shit. This shit is so good. Even Guan Yin Ping would have been better as a choice for a horse for a horse only challenge. Wayon was really not that good. Uh I guess we'll just hang out here. Defeat the enemies in front of Hope you're doing well, chat. We have... Okay, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of all the battles we have. We have this battle, then we have the battle of Xing Sai, then we have the battle of Wujang, or sorry, not Wujang. Um, then we have the battle of um, Nanjong. I didn't expect him to lose. Nanjong, and then that battle I just died in, and then John Wei. So how many battles is that? That's five? Wait for me. Cool. cool. Oh, did my elemental activation disappear? What the fuck? I think it does more damage if the enemy blocks, right? I think that's how that works. Like, if the enemy tries to block the uh, the attack, it just does more damage. I think that's how that works. And essentially, by redoing each time, I get more money. Which is not in itself a bad thing. Getting more money to fund for Jean Wei is pretty good. I want to buff that man as much as possible because I really don't like playing as him. Playing as John Wei really sucks, actually. Well, I saw, like, the video that Grand Calabash sent me uh, yesterday of, like, someone playing as John Wei. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. That person playing as John Wei made me reconsider John Wei a little bit. I was like, holy shit. It's kind of busted. But it's only, like, how you play him. And I'm like, I don't really think I could do what that guy did because that's not my play style. Hey, Lu Meng, can you... Are you serious? God, I killed, like... I slaughtered all of you, your men, Lu Meng. Can you stop running away? This man is so annoying. There you go. Jesus. Cool. Hey, Chocobo, welcome. Welcome. How's it going? Uh, wow. Yeah, literally, we, we killed all of them. Nice. Thank you for stopping by, dude. And when you hit them just perfectly. Damn you, okay? Even the game is done with my bullshit. Come on. There we go. Wrong button. Okay, can you... Guys, relax. It'd be great if I pushed the right button, you know? I don't know why I didn't just use a Muso. I don't know why I didn't just fucking use a Muso. I tried switching. I tried weapon switching. I was dumb. Why did I do that? God damn it. Never gonna fucking finish this game. God fucking. Might give A8XL a try after I finish DW9. You should do it, dude. DW eight XL is so fucking fun. But uh, after doing this ultimate thing, 
I don't think I'm gonna play this game ever again. Everyone, keep up the fight. We I am so tired, chat. I just... It's, you know, it's like the equivalent of, like, being away from your house for a long time. I just want to go home. I just want to be done. Could have been done earlier. Could have been done earlier. But also, it's just, like, my ineptitude. Like I said, sometimes I just... Like, for her combos, you really got to do her C4, I think it's what it's called. And then her C6 to bust out damage, but for some reason my brain just doesn't push the right buttons sometimes. So I just like I don't get that full elemental activation when I really need it. But uh, casually playing DW at XL, I can highly recommend. Please do, please do it, dude. I didn't even see this other guy. Oh, what? The? Okay, can you? All right, dude. I'm already upset. Get away from me. Okay. Oh! Okay. Uh, and after I get to go, I'm gonna go hardest difficulty possible. I mean, you can do that! Oh, right, because I don't have my elemental shit. There we go. Okay. Um... I mean, yeah, I do recommend trying hard uh, ultimate difficulty. It is worth trying to do ultimate difficulty. Um, ultimate difficulty has its own fun and its own benefits of doing, but it is like prepare yourself for a bunch of bullshit. That's what it is. Ultimate mode is like literally a bunch of bullshit. Oh, it's too far away. Because there are things like you can prepare for, like enemies dealing a lot of damage. Um, Musos being activated, attack times two, defense times two. There's, like, things you can prepare for. But then there's just, like, that one moment in time where you're just like, how the fuck did that happen? You know, you're, like, standing really far away from a Muso or whatever. Or you try to block a Muso and it just doesn't work. And you're just like, why? Yeah, ultimate mode. <laughs> fuck you. Ultimate mode. Alright, thanks, Koei. So like some, it's it's just never the same similar experience. Every time you like, I've I've done this battle repeatedly many times, but first time I died because I didn't use a Musa this time or Rage or whatever. Whoa. Blocking is useless against Ching Sai. Um, but I think, did you... Oh no, I need to go this way. Did you manage to pick up 8XL when it was on sale by any chance, Struggle Bobo? So you managed to secure the floodgates. That is a relief. Oh, I need to. If they were successful with the flood attack, our nope. Ah. Wiped out for sure. ah. Oh, for what it's worth, I saw someone, um, yesterday, uh, Ellie Lancer, she was cheeky, was playing, um, Guan Yimping in DW9, uh, DW9 Empires. I regret it. <laughs> yeah, you gotta buy those games, dude. When they're on sale, just buy it. If you really don't want to play it, just refund it. My balls jiggle. But, uh, yeah, the, uh, Guan Yimping looked pretty good to play as in uh, Nine Empires. She actually looked like a lot of fun. Uh, can I do this safely? Get the elemental activation. You die? Thanks. Uh, not playing on stream though, although I have a pretty decent gaming computer, I prefer a console. Uh, oh, okay, I see, I see. That's fine, that's fair. I know there's a lot of people out there that prefer playing on console as opposed to PC, um, which is totally fine. I get 
I would prefer to play in console myself, but I don't have my consoles with me. So... We got a PC! We got PC. Because for me, like, the thing that I like the most about using the console is the save. So, like, dealing with game game save in on PC is really annoying. Because, like, I don't want to lose all my save progress for this game. So I have to, like, physically... Like, I have to move the file. PS5, so we gotta get that mileage. Yeah, exactly. You should absolutely get the mileage. Die, you! There we go. Look at that damage, Chad. Look at that fucking damage. That's what I wanted to do earlier. But I just couldn't push the right button. So yeah, like, if you have a console, it's really nice because you can, like, I don't know, you can move the save data e early easier, I feel like. Oh my god, I hit where I reached him. Cool. Um, oh, interesting. They don't have, like, opposite weapons? Okay. Can't see. Where's the fucking gate? There it is. I'm trying to put my like give some distance. There we go. That's what I wanted. All right. Now that I dealt with him. Okay. One ping. Gun Yinping really fights from a distance. She might be a close range fighter, but. She does really well from a distance. Uh, when I said nothing, I have a Scoffad, I have RTX 370 and GPU. Uh, i7. And nice, dude! Fucking brag about it, dude. I don't know the exact specs of my PC, but it's pretty fucking good, too. Uh, mine is an i7-something. Oh! Ho -ho -ho. Something or other. Um... For the graphics card, it's a... Uh, what is it? I have it here. It's like on the laptop, so I can just look at it at any time. Um, I think mine's a 3060, I believe. Wait, did that say treasure? Yeah, mine's an RTX 3060. Oh my god, I did discover treasure. <gasps> I've never had that happen before. Why did I get that... Why did I suddenly get that? What? It's so weird. Oh fuck! I just have to win. Oh, he's gonna get there. Uh, we gotta run. The only AAA game I have on my PC is Final Fantasy XV. <laughs> I mean, that's a word game worth having, right? Oh, are they gonna reach the floodgate? Uh, God, they're so fast, Chad. They're so fucking fast. My horse is slow as balls. No, treasure not meaning lots of gold. No, treasure in this game means um, a means a five star or six star weapon. Oh, they're gonna reach the floodgate. Ah, F, dude, F. No, 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 no. no. Shit. Oh, they're totally gonna reach the floodgate. Oh, this sucks. Oh, this sucks, chat. This really sucks. This is bad. This is really bad. Oh, come on. Get them, get them. Yes. Oh. No. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. Hey, shout out. Fight me. Somebody fight me. Hey, hey, assholes over here. Hey, assholes. Hey, over here. Oh. Oh. Hey, Shadow Dwayne, can you, can you, like, not be here? Hold on, chat. I gotta... Oh, 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 oh. 
wrong button, please push the right button. Alright, everyone's using a Muso. Chat, please, why can't I play better? There we go, that's what I wanted. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, some of you hit me somehow. Bye, you. Guan Yu, you can't even kill Xiao Duin, are you serious? Yeah, thanks. Oh, fuck. Alright, um... I think my computer specs are going to waste. I mean, I feel you, dude. All I've been playing is uh, Dynasty Warrior games. So, I totally feel you on, like, specs going to waste. And this is a character with it. Yes! Guan Yinping's Muso, I fully agree, useless. Her Muso is garbage. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by, Grand Calabash. Damage, astronomical, Muso, garbage. Even her R1 Muso is shit. Like a supporting weapon. Yeah, exactly. Um, also, I don't know why you thought it was Leon Sure. The the chest is not the same size, Chocobo. The chest is definitely not the same size. Oh, that's not. Thank you, welcome on in, gamers. Welcome. Uh, I have that video still pulled up of Jean Wei, and we'll get to it eventually. Hold on, sorry, chat. My mouse is like. There we go. An awkward position. Cool. Uh. Uh, on a receipt. Yes, I have noticed that. I have noticed that. Alright, let me get some health a little bit. If I could remember to push the right button. Did you notice Jiggle Physics in DW9E? I have noticed Jiggle Physics. Koei is famous for their Jiggle Physics. Nope. I don't want any part of it, homie. Especially Jiao Chan. I haven't really paid attention much to it, because I rarely see Jiao Chan in all honesty. You know, I always forget that I have that move. Ow. There we go. Jiggle has been in a uh, while, probably in this game. Oh, it, the, the, the Jiggle's definitely there. Like, literally every time you pop in one of the female characters, like Leon Sher or something, like, if you, like, change their outfit, there's a bit of Jiggle. Koei loves Jiggle, dude. Why do you think they make, uh, well, yeah, why do you think they make Dead or Alive? If you ever want to know, I mean, just take a look at Dead or Alive. This fucking battle. I hate this battle, chat. <laughs> It's kind of the same battle with, like, Wei with, uh, Shu Wong. Like, this battle's just not fun. Because I just don't like playing a Shing Tsai. Alright, just take someone else's horse. There's so many horses to take. I remember playing Dead or Alive when I was younger, but it wasn't so... I guess gaudy back in the days, but now it's extremely gaudy. What a what a great game Dead or Alive is. They they fully embraced it too. They're like, yeah, yeah, fuck it, whatever. We're a game that makes uh, very sexual content. I'm like, okay, at least they're pretty open about it. I love if uh. My favorite thing is people who defend the game. Like, oh, I played for the fighting physics. Nah, nah, homie, no, you don't play Dead or Alive for the fighting physics. There's no way you play that game for the fighting physics. 
Um, they have had their six months. I mean, they have, but may maybe it's because I was a child and I didn't really know better. Maybe that's the reason. But I definitely feel like it's gotten progressively more jiggly, if you know what I mean, over the years. Like, they've always had those characters, but I feel like those physics have uh, gotten better. Also, the cast is uh, 50 the whole time. Yeah, no, that's pretty good of them, at least. You know, they're not, uh, you know, they're not one-sided. But when you take a look at the, uh, you know, the, like, the trailers and stuff like that, who shows up more, the guys or the girls? They've been there the whole time if they had the computation, computational power. Uh, yeah, you know what, that's true. I mean, they're still making them, right? They're still making Dead or Alive. I don't know if I'd, uh... I used to play fighting games pretty often, but I like playing fighting games, like, at an arcade. I don't know. Playing a fighting game, like, at home on PC or the, on the console, it just doesn't feel as good. Like, I really enjoy using the... I know you can buy the arcade box or whatever to do that at home. But, I don't know, I really like, I really like, uh, why did you have to jump? I really like playing uh, at arcade, it's a lot more fun. Uh, you want the opponent there in person? Not just that, necessarily. But it is nice, it is a, it is a kind of like, I don't know. It is a very, like, subtle thing where, like, you can fight some random person, like, you know, offline, and, like, kind of be like, hey, man, you're really fucking good, you kicked my ass, you know, or whatever. Or if you're better, better than them, you're like, hey, man, let's keep playing. There's something different about it. Did anyone ever do the whole, like, put a quarter down, you know, I got next game, that kind of shit? It's good stuff. Uh, hold on, let me check those. After DW9 XL and 9 Empires, what? DW8 XL. <laughs> uh, what game are playing then next? That's a good. That's a good uh, question. I have a couple of games I have lined up, and I'll also give chat the chance to maybe give their opinion on which game they want to, um, what they want to play or want to see me play. Uh, so I'll probably do a poll eventually, whenever we get to the end of this game, and uh, yeah, we'll do that. Saying uh, those on wait, DOA isn't entering. I'm saying they haven't changed and they just the same as they have. Oh, yeah, yeah, they've never really changed that much, yeah. But do you really need them to change? Nah. They're good as is. There's just some games that don't really need to change that much. And Koei is like the, the king of making games that don't change. They make one fucking game and they repeat it. Just like Nintendo. They change like some stuff, but like that at the core it's the same. Paul Balvin say Austin 316 says, lift your ass and you take his wallet. Who the fuck are you talking about, Draven? Who's I assume it's wrestling stuff. Oh hey, it's Juron. Oh, hey, relax. Does anyone play Juron? Oh. Okay, I need you to not be in the corner. Can we fight in the open? Oh right, Guan Sheng has his father's Muso. Here I go. Okay, I want to fight you in the open without all these basic enemies. Oh, Zhang Bao, you're the worst! Oh, god damn it, Zhang Bao. God damn it. Um. Also, there are absolutely people who play for fighting. Nobody's the patient tracks to learn the fighting game for, for some jiggle. You know, you're 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 right, uh, Grand Galabash. You are right. Um, gotta go make dinner. All right, man. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, when you went in fighting, did you say that, especially in person? All I'm saying, Austin, just go transcend and take his wallet. 
Okay, maybe I'll say that. I don't know, man. You gotta have sportsmanship when you when you win in a game. Of course, some bragging is always good, but you gotta have a little more decorum. And GBV, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Dude. I mean, I'm just... I wanted to actually hit him. I wanted to actually hit him. Jesus. <laughs> Jump 316 though. Yeah, I know. Alright, well I guess we're gonna take a pause. Thank you for redeeming the uh Dame Dane Uh sound. Um Welcome, welcome, GPV. Hope you're doing well. Ooh. Bro, no, when you whoop the ass of some random public, it mostly goes out the window. <laughs> you know, that's true. You, tr you trash talk them into submission. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You guys, you guys are... You guys are relentless. Oh, there's a taxi driver in addition. That's why Austin 316 code is required. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. I don't think... I, I mean, I guess whenever I played arcade, I guess I was more of a kid at the time, so... Not really. I had my fair share of matches that I would win, um, so I was, yeah, I was more of, not really a kid kid, I was like a teenager, I guess, so I didn't really care that much. Alright, let's get this, uh, Bakamatai going. Lower the volume a bit. Here we go. This is for Draded, for redeeming the Bakamatai. Thank you, dude, thank you. Bakamatai. ほどなのね夢を追って傷ついて嘘が下手なくせに笑えない笑顔を見せたい love you もろくに言わない口下手で、ほんまに不器用なのになのにどうしてさよならは言えたのダメだねダメよダメなのよあんたが好きで好きすぎてどれだけ強いお酒でも歪まない思い出が高めたい Trash Top is non-stop I mean, I guess it's fair you win, if you win at least. Baka metai. Onto baka ne. Anta. Shinjiru bakari de. Suyoi. Onna no furi. Setsunasa. Yokaze abiru. Got to change that. ひとりになって三年が過ぎ街並み最後変わりましたなのになのにどうして未練だけ置き去りほんまにろくな男やな揃いの指輪外しますざまみろ生成するはいい加減待っててもバカみたい
I just noticed that there's a Hatsune Miku version of this song. That'd be interesting to listen to. Get your dame dones. Dame dones. Dame yo. Dame nano yo. Anta ga. Suki de. Suki sugi te. Dore da ke. Suyoi yo sa ke de mo. You got my name. Oh, my legal. Black and bitai. Oh, mani. Look, ga. Oh, to ko ya na. Solo i no. Yubi wa hazu shimasu. Zama mi ro. Sei sei suru wa. You know, chat that reminds me. That reminds me. Where is it? I bookmarked this. Yes. Is it still here? Yes. Okay. Oh, no longer accept. Okay. Maybe I'll have to ask them later. I haven't posted that link in a little while, but um, I know. I mean, I didn't. I didn't necessarily have to, but there was the the whole donation link. Um, let's see. Can I change this? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see if OBS is going to actually capture the game, though. Come on, OBS. Capture the game. Be cool. Oh, it is. Okay. Cool. Uh, there we go. Alright, let's get this show on the road. Let's keep going, keep chugging along. Can I... Wanna die? Please. Wanna end this battle? Story time. Oh, interesting. Curious? I have got just the story for you, Chad, because I remember this story so well. So hold on, let me get this this man dead, and I will uh, I'll get the story going. I mean, I mean, I O I O. Traded. Thank you for being here, as always, dude. Thank you so much. Number one mod who hates me slash loves me. Thank you for being here, and uh, be safe on your way to work. Uh, chat? <laughs> Forgive me the challenges, dude. Forgive me the challenges. Um, uh, chat? Anyone, uh, anyone been part of a pyramid scheme? Anybody? No? Just me? Cool. Yeah, I was, uh, part of a pyramid scheme a long time ago. Boy, howdy, let me tell you. No pyramid scams here. Yeah, you know, you guys are... Chat, you have to really understand. You you guys don't understand how fucking dumb I am, okay? You just... You gotta really understand how dumb I am. So, this happened in university at a time when, you know, you would think... I'm at the most learned part of my life. You no. Know? Um... I don't remember at what point in university I was at. I, I shouldn't say university, by the way. I should say community college. Um, and this was like one of those things, again, pretty subtle, pretty subtle about it, but again, I was really dumb. But I was, I don't know if I was taking my year break or if I was still going to community college, but either way, I don't think I was working full time, I think. I might have been driving for Postmates at that time or just kind of not really doing much. So either way, I had a bunch of time and I didn't have a lot of money. So, anyways, I got I have this friend, right? Safe to say, not really friends with this guy anymore, because this guy I have lost a lot of a lot of trust in. This is the kind of friend who would tell you a bunch of bullshit, and you would kind of believe it, because I mean he was a nice guy, but he'd always say stuff, and he was a pretty consistent liar. 
So anyways, this friend of mine, this is the kind of guy who always said he had a job or always made some money but never paid for anything. Um, but he told me he got a job finally, and I was like, yo, man, fucking finally, dude. Good job on getting a job. Um, and this guy, he's like, hey, man, if you want to, you know, get the same job I have, you can make a lot of money. He's kind of hyping up the job. He's like, he's really, you know, giving me a lot to, like, consider. He's like, hey, you can make this much money an hour. Um, and I was trying to ask him what the job was. And he's like, oh, are you selling insurance? It's like, okay, insurance is fairly normal. Yo, Lucian, cut it out. I don't know what... Sorry, man. I gotta watch out for Lucian real quick. Uh, hey, Lucian, can you just die so I can talk to chat? There we go. Um, yeah, exactly. So the guy was really hyping it up. My friend was really hyping it up. And again, it's coming from my friend at the time I was still friends with. I was like, okay, I don't really see any problems here. Sounds great. Sounds cool. Um, you know, good shit. And he was wearing a business suit, too. And he's like, you got to wear a business suit. You got to look like look nice. I was like, okay. Selling insurance sounds, sounds normal. I did question it a little bit at the time because this guy had no prior insurance or no uh, full college education. He never really worked a full-time job. So I was kind of curious how he got a job selling insurance. But, you know, whatever. I figured... Anyone can sell insurance. To give to some other background to this uh, place where I had to go to, by the way. Uh, for those of you who have ever visited San Diego or never been to San Diego, there's this highway, the 52 highway, and this is a this is a, fr a freeway or highway, however you want to say it, with nothing on it. All right, this is a desolate highway because the whole reason for this highway is that it connects from one side of San Diego to the other side of San Diego, like across the mountains. Because before this highway, there was just mountain, like just wildlands, essentially. There's nothing there. So they built this freeway to kind of connect one side to the other, you know, pretty quickly without going to, um, you know, going through the mountains, essentially. Uh, but I've been on this, you know, I've driven down this freeway for a long time because my parents I would go to Claremont pretty often which is the main reason to go on the 52 for me um, but this whole time you know that I'm going that I've been on this freeway there's always been this one building it was like on top of a mountain kind of it's hard to describe it really well but there's this one building or one plot of land that I always notice I was like I wonder what's over there never been there never had a reason to go there because yeah there's just not a really any reason to go there that's where the uh, that's where the, the pyramid scheme insurance company was. So that was like the first time in my life that I had ever been to this building. So I was kind of stoked about it because I was like, oh shit, I've never actually been here. You know, I've always wanted to come over here, but never been here. Again, you have to really remember that this is a place far away from really anything. The building itself is nice. Okay, the building is still very nice. Like it's a well-made office building. But there's no, like, restaurants, no, like, anything that would give sign to, like, why people would come here for insurance, you know? I feel like insurance companies should be really, like, in the middle of other places, right? Because that's where you want your clients to come. So anyways, uh, we get there, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm impressed. You know, the building looks nice, people are nice, whatever. So... Again, my friend brings me to the guy that's explaining to me the job and all of that. Quote unquote job. And I was like, okay, yeah, it all sounds good. They're like, you can make a lot of money. Uh, you essentially make money from other people joining or like, you know, signing contracts. So again, this should have been a red flag because they didn't really directly tell me how much money I was selling. They were just saying, hey, you'll get money for doing contracts. At my, t I guess at that time, my brain was thinking I get money for clients signing contracts. That's That made sense, right? You would get money for a contract for people uh, signing the contract. I was like, okay, that makes sense. But they never specified how much money you would get. Like They, ne they were never clear about how much money you would actually get. They are just like, you get it from contracts. I was like, okay. Um... 
Sorry, I might be a little bit distracted as I'm talking to Lumong. Or not talking, fighting Lumong. I'm talking to chat. Oh, this is the mid-air Musa. Okay. Ooh, that's good damage. Oh, uh, nice stagger. No, no, no. Oh, he was staggered. You guys suck. Um, but yeah, the guy kept on explaining it. And then, of course, as true pyramid scheme goes, right, they said that you needed to buy the product. So eventually they're like, okay, so in order to join, you have to sign a contract, and then you have to pay, I think it was $100 or whatever it was, to buy the, the product to sell. I don't remember too much. I can't remember exactly what they said. But I think, you, I, I remember specifically you had to pay... I think it was $100 or $150, not some substantial amount of money, but for me it was a bit weird because like, again, I was a college student at the time, I didn't have money, I joined this, I was joining this in the hopes of getting money, you know, so I was just kind of thrown off by it, I was just like, okay, why do I have to pay money? So I really asked the guy, I was like, why am I paying money for this? He's like, well, you need the supplies. I'm like, okay fair, but, like, why can't you just give them to me? And then they do the whole bullshit spiel of, oh! Of, like, why... Oh, why did you get defense? Come on, man. Defense, really? Sorry, chat, I need to beat up Gunning over here. Oh, no, 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 Okay. Oh. Hey, Ling Tong, stop it. Ugh. I could, like, pause while I'm doing this story, but, like, I really want to, I really want to finish. Please don't. Please don't. I'd really rather you did. Okay. Um... All right. Uh, anyways, so I was going with my story. The the guy kept on explaining, yeah, you, you got to buy it. So I kept telling him, like, I don't really have money. You know, I was like, I don't really have that much money to like on into this right now. You know, I don't, I don't know how comfortable I feel about just giving you money in the promise of maybe making money. You know what I mean? So of course, because they don't want to ever say no. Oh, I have a double jump. Um, oh, okay, we're just both blocked. Oh, don't do it. Okay. I thought one of his men was going to block the Muso. Okay. Uh, hey, die. Thanks. Um, they, they never want to say no, right, chat? Like, pyramid schemes never want to say no to, like, having you join. <laughs> So what they did for me was like, okay, we can put you on a trial basis. They're like, hey, until you get the money, uh, you can keep coming to the meetings and stuff like that, and you can, you know, hang out and see what our our, our company is about. And I was like, okay, that's fair enough. Um, my friend didn't really say anything, um, because he said, I think he said the same thing. I think he did actually invest the hundred or hundred fifty. So I can understand why he was more adamant in maybe trying to get me to, to join. But yeah, he wasn't going to get anything from, like, basically, you know, how everyone knows how pyramid schemes work is once you get someone to join, you get the money, blah, blah, blah. So my friend would have gotten some money from me joining, right? That's how it would have worked. But obviously I didn't join right away because I didn't have the money to fund into it. Because that's how they work. So, again, there's so many red flags, chat, that I just didn't pay attention to. I was just like, alright, let me try to actually do this job and see how I can make it work. Now, fast forwarding a little bit, you had to go to these meetings. You had to do these meetings, which were really annoying. Ow, can you not use a Muso, really? I'm trying to use my rage mode effectively, but you're being an asshole. Ooh. Oh, are you serious? Hold on. God 
Damn you, Lusu, you're the worst. Um, so after, you know, like, hearing about these meetings, I was like, I don't want to go to these meetings. You had to go, I think, twice a week. Again, mind you, this building is in the middle of nowhere. Um, there's nothing there around. And it's kind of a pain in the ass to get to. But you had to go in the afternoon for, like, an hour or whatever to do these meetings. You had to dress well. You had to take notes. You had to, like, take notes about the meeting. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you for traded for the the mohahaha. Um, so you had to go to these meetings, which were very fucking annoying. Anyways, I go to these meetings, and they're the they're the standard meetings where you like you had to like they're, they're promotional meetings, you know. You have the head honcho, the head cheese or whatever that's there standing. You can do it. You can make lots of money like I do. You can sit at home and just make money. Uh, don't sit on your lazy ass and do nothing. If you want to if you want to make money, work hard to do it. And everyone's clapping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, hyping them up. Everyone's big. Everyone's a bunch of hype men, you know. Uh, but meanwhile, I still retained my, like, why the fuck am I here? I don't give a shit about your, your spiel, man. I just want to make money. You know, I don't want to listen to you. There were some points I did try to listen to about, like, you know, working hard or whatever. Because no matter what, who says it, working hard is still good advice. Um, just not coming from someone always that's, like, not doing anything and can control this pyramid scheme. But anyways, I don't think I wrote any notes at all, even though they wanted me to write notes. I literally just doodled. That's what I did while during those meetings. I just fucking doodled. So anyways, again, fast forward a bit more. For what it's worth, I did manage to convince uh, a friend of mine to join. So I'm the asshole. So I did bring one, one of my friends along, and he seemed actually pretty into it as well. He was also equally dumb, because we still had not realized it was a pyramid scheme. Working smart, uh, better than working hard. Exactly, exactly. But anyways... I brought my friend along, he joined the meetings and stuff, and both me and him were equally like, these meetings suck. Why are we here? Uh, thank you, Wolfkin, for being here, by the way. I hope you're doing well. We're talking about my time as um, being a part of a pyramid scheme, so if you guys want to learn firsthand what's part of being a pyramid scheme, uh, you hear it from me. Uh, those are the days, yeah, dude, you have no idea. I was so gullible. Um, but... I got my friend to join, and again, we're both going to this meeting, or meetings, and kind of like, yeah, okay, whatever. But both of us still questioned, you know, how are we making money? You know, we kept talking to the guy that kind of recruited us, the manager or whatever. And again, he was very nice. They were all very nice. You know, no one was mean or anything, um, which makes sense because they have to be nice. Hey, I want to fight Jonga. Um, cool. I should be able to kill Jonga. Cool. That worked out really well. Um, and the guy kept on giving us vague information. He was like, you gotta, you gotta get people to come to the meetings. You gotta, like, bring people along with you. And I was like, okay, but, like, how does that make me money? You know, I just kept asking. And then he's like, well, I mean, if you, you really have to join the contract. Blah, blah, blah. Like, the guy was adamant. He was like, you, you gotta join that contract. You know, you gotta pay into the, to the company. I was like, okay, okay. And, um, again, I was, still wasn't really making money, so I just couldn't really come to the terms of, like, like, giving that 100 to $150, whatever the amount was. And eventually, eventually, I brought another friend who opened my eyes. So this friend, I brought him because he also wasn't working at the time. Oh, can you stop getting defense times two, Saiwen That'd be really cool. Every time I fight this bitch, she always has defense times two. Okay. 
Um, but, so I brought my friend along because he was also looking for a job. I told him that it's very high pay. I told him it's an insurance company. And uh, he came along. So after getting the same spiel that I got from the, uh, from the guy, uh, we went through the whole meeting. My friend was very, like, you know, nice about the whole thing. After the meeting, the guy, my friend, straight up looks at me, and he's like, this is a pyramid scheme. He just dead ass looks at me and is like, this is a pyramid scheme. And I had that brief moment of like, no, no, it's not a pyramid scheme. That brief moment of like, what are you talking about? Because I, my brain couldn't quite handle the fact that like, I would be so dumb enough to join a pyramid scheme, be part of it. So my brain was kind of like frying a little bit. Um, and he's like, "Yeah, no, this is this is totally a pyramid scheme." And he kind of like broke it down for me. And I was like, "Wait." So the whole drive home, yeah, exactly. It's almost like I joined a, joined a cult. So the, like the whole drive home, you know, we're talking about it, and at the end of everything, I was like, "Oh my god, you're right. I totally did join a pyramid scheme." And I felt so bad, because my friend was so nice, and he didn't, like, he didn't even tell me to stop or anything. He didn't even, like, say, hey, you, you should stop being there. He's just like, you know, if you want to do that's fine, but I, I don't want to be a part of it. So my friend was extremely nice about it, and I just, like, I'm an asshat. Why, why did I do this? And all I could really think was, you know, my friend, who I trusted at the time still was the one who brought me here uh, I felt just a little bit I guess not mad but upset a little bit because he he brought me there and got me to like buy into it and then I still had another friend who I brought too right and I just I was so blown away I was like I cannot believe that I never noticed any time and you know, this is, like, you get educated about this stuff, too. Like, I knew what pyramid schemes were. You know, I made fun of people who did join pyramid schemes. I was like, how how can anyone join a pyramid scheme? How does it work, or whatever? God, they are good, dude. They are good at, like... They are really good at their job. Of, like, just getting you to join, being so nice. And, uh, really, like... Not making you feel like it's a pyramid scheme. God, you're still not dead. Cool. Um, and uh, so my friend who I got to join, right? I told him about it too. I was like, hey man, I we gotta leave. This is a pyramid scheme. And he also, like, as soon as I told him that, also had the same kind of thinking I did. He's like, wait, what? <laughs> we both just we both just sat there like we're fucking dumb all right that's that's what we are we're both dumb um however my friend after realizing he's like you know what? i'll stay a little bit longer and see if i can actually make any money so he stayed for a little bit to see if um he can make some money out of it eventually he did leave too because he actually got people to join also he got people to come he was very good at it like if he stayed in that pyramid scheme I think they would have loved him because he was very good at getting people to come. Um, but he also just like, yeah, no, there's no money in this. And I was like, yeah, say it's, we should we should not be here. Um, and then again, my original friend who got me into this, fucked off. He just like, hey man, I don't want to be part of this anymore. I don't, I don't want to commit to it. And I was like, you're an asshat. You brought me here and you couldn't even stay. It is. It's, I, it's, they're totally illegal, dude. Pyramid schemes are completely illegal. But the thing is, pyramid schemes have gotten to the point where they really, like... They find so many workarounds. Ever since, like, the biggest pyramid schemes that uh, have been found out. And there's still some that exist. I think they're... What is it called? Ashley or whatever? There's that one big, giant company, Ashley or whatever it's called. I, I can't remember the exact name. But that, that company is a pyramid scheme. The one that's, like catered to women and women products. Uh, but I think they have, they're so big and have so much money that like no one can really like 
tell them otherwise. Like, they, ha they have too much influence. But they, yeah, they do hide it, but, like, at the end... Like, my favorite, my favorite, favorite, um... Does anyone watch Always Sunny in Philadelphia? Like, my favorite, um... Like, analogy to a pyramid scheme is from Always Sunny in Philadelphia. So, like, it's the same thing. Uh, was it? Mac, Mac, Dennis, and, um, Charlie. They all get, they all buy into this pyramid scheme. But the thing is, like... They're so dumb about it, too, because they're like, no, it's not a pyramid scheme. Because the triangle was flipped upside down. Well, you start here and you work your way down, right? It was like a reverse pyramid, right? That's how they designed it. But then D is like, you guys are fucking dumb. And she, like, reversed the picture. And, like, it's a pyramid scheme. You're not at the top. You're at the bottom. <laughs> Just like, yep. That's how pyramid schemes work. That's how they get around, like... But that's how they get around to, like, um... You know, making sure it's not a pyramid scheme. They do all kinds of weird shit to hide it. Um, so yeah, anyways, that was the time I joined a pyramid scheme. Thank God I didn't invest any money, chat. Thank God I didn't, like... What? These are never active. What? These are usually never active. I did destroy it. Okay, whatever. Hey, Yinchan, can we fight over here, homie? Thanks. Sounds legit. Yeah, I know. Totally legit. I've never seen these statues active. <laughs> Ever. But, uh, yeah. They are, they are good at what they do. Pyramid schemes, if you're, especially if you're really gullible. They are really fucking good at what they do. You know what the thing that pisses me off the most, too? Is that, like, there are some obvious pyramid schemes, or obvious, like, like, schemes. So, for example, there's this really big one in San Diego. I think they're still around. They might not be around anymore, I don't know. It's called Cutco. They might also not just be inside San Diego, but there's a company called Cutco. And they are door-to-door -door salesmen for knives. That's what they sell. They actually have a product, for what it's worth. They have a product that they sell. But yeah, they sell knives, and you have to go around door-to-door -door selling, which is, you know, not lucrative anymore. Door-to-door -door selling is not ideal anymore. Oh, are they? Okay. Oh, shit. Why did that do so much damage? Are you All right. That's kind of weird shit that that did so much damage. Um, but, uh, yeah, the, the thing that pisses me off is that when I went to community college, they had a booth at my college. You know, a college is supposed to be a place that you trust where, you know, they take you in and they educate you and all that. And yet they had, they let these guys put up a booth for people to try and apply to get a job. Like, are you serious? Oh, why are you so... Beat up. Okay, I don't know why Sean Wood was so beat up already, but I'll take it. Thank God. All right, that was cool. There's no way for us to get. Yeah, my friend went to an interview for a time for a sales position. Exactly. So, the thing is that caught me off guard, and at least thankfully at that time I was thinking. They had a booth. They set it up real nice. You can earn what was it, seventeen dollars an hour or something stupid. And I was like, Yo, that sounds great. Yeah, I'll, I'll sign up. And uh, they literally called me 30 minutes later the for the position, so to speak. And I was like, there's no way. You know, something in my brain was like, there's no way anyone can get a job this easily. So I was like, you know what, let me think about it. Because they called me back so too quickly. No job ever calls you, like, within 30 minutes. Right? And I've heard stories from people who did actually work for them, and they're not great. Because you have to buy the product, and the product is very expensive. God, I'm getting pushed around. The product is very expensive, right? So to make up that money, you need to sell it. Focus on the enemies in front of you. 
Oh, what? I thought I'd circled that around pretty well. I am Lee Dian, your worst nightmare. Two, three, four. Can you die, Eugene? Thanks. Is Lee Dian still alive? Yeah, he sure is. Okay. Hey, Lee Dian, die. Uh, and she said that they actually did a pretend interview with a group of candidates, but in reality, she was the only one being interviewed in the other guy's arm. Wow, really? God, the lengths they go, dude. The lengths they go to, to, like, prove that they're a legit company. And that's kind of what pyramid schemes do, more or less, too. I think that's exactly what they do. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of... It's real shady, so that's why I never ended up joining Cutco, because I've heard it's real rough, too. Like, people that did join, it is not easy. It is 100,000% not easy to, uh, to do that job. Like, it's real fucking rough. Oh, nice, that actually works. Why do you have to have defense times two? Please die. Oh. Oh, nice. Yes. Oh, yes, chat. We're good. Oh, what the fuck? Yo, Shu Wong went flying. Yo, that motherfucker went flying, dude. What the fuck happened to him? Um, they said they were a big company that their building was a decrepit, old, almost abandoned building in the building because they drove. Wow, really? Holy shit! Yeah, at least when I joined my pyramid scheme, it was a nice office building with AC and everything because it was hot as fuck when I went. It was in the middle of summer. Every time I went to the building, it was actually kind of nice because, like I said. It was very hot outside, and they had, like, nice AC. And like I said, for the, for the most part, like, the only thing that really sucks is that the people that I end up, like, the manager and, like, the other people that I talked to, they were really nice. It felt really bad, like, that they were part of the pyramid scheme, because I was like, you guys could have been really cool to actually hang out with if you weren't part of a pyramid scheme. That was the worst part. Like, these people were actually really chill. So I guess that's why no red flags ever came up, because, like, I never, like, um, put two and two together because of, like I said, how, um, um, don't block it, of how awesome, um, they were. Die, Gojo. So if they weren't so nice, or like that some something's felt a little bit more off, I think I probably wouldn't have joined. Yeah. All right, so we have Nanjong, right? I don't want to do the battle of Nanjong. This is the longest battle in all of the Dynasty Warriors game because you don't get to use a horse. But we got Guan Yinping. That's pretty pop. Guan Yinping's pretty great. It, seems forces are lurking somewhere it did almost get my ass handed to me though when I first did this battle because I didn't expect Mongol. Alright, you're dead. Like one Mongol just showed up and punched me in the face repeatedly. And I almost died. Oh, come on. Don't interrupt my attack, you peasant. Alright, please, me. Right button, please. There you go. Uh, okay. There we go. Uh, but yeah, chat, you know, be careful of nice people, I guess, sometimes. That's, that's a real shitty lesson, but be careful of nice people. Nice people sometimes can really lead you astray. Like I said, that that friend of mine that got me to join, I I don't I have not talked to him in, in years. 
I don't hate him, but I also don't trust him. We'll need to prepare our siege weapons just in case. So. Our target has been determined. Yeah. That their morale. Hey. Anyways, that's past me, and I've I've grown from the experience in anything, if anything. Uh, I can now spot the lies. Hopefully. I can hopefully, you know, spot the lies from far away now. I kind of did when I went to, uh, when I came to Korea. A similar situation almost happened to me in Korea. These scammers are everywhere, dude. Uh, we need the juggernauts, right? But thank you for redeeming the, the points, by the way, Chocobogo. Oh, chat, you know what? I never picked up my treasure. Oh, I'm so dumb. Uh, no. No. I completely forgot about that. Uh, no. No, my treasure. I mentioned that earlier, Chocobo. The treasure is just the five-star, six-star weapon. You have to complete a certain objective to get it. Die, tigers. My treasure. Yeah, I know. God damn it. Especially because treasures are kind of annoying to get. That really makes me upset that I uh, didn't get it. Because I don't know what the objective was to get her five-star weapon. Because I've done that battle like three or four times. And yet I still never got it till just recently. Uh... That's disheartening. Tank Wars. <laughs> Yo, you never piloted a Juggernaut before? They're in seven. Yeah, talk about their Juggernauts are in six, two, I think. They're in seven. If you ever played seven, they're in seven. God, actually, even Harmony wouldn't matter if you had it on Guan Yin Ping. I still wouldn't put Harmony, but it wouldn't matter if you had Harmony on Guan Yin Ping because she just destroys them. Yeah, you gotta use uh, Juggernaut sometimes. Can you imagine? It'd be great if you could use Juggernauts in Nine Empires, right? Like, if the enemy had, like, the Flame Tiger strategy, but you had Juggernauts, God, it'd be so cool if you could actually use the Juggernauts to fight the Flame Tiger. Oh, uh, yeah, you did, yeah. But the Juggernaut, I can understand why you forgot about them, because Juggernauts are not great. They're cool for taking the damage for you. Like, they're great in the sense that you never take any hits, because the Juggernaut takes the hits for you. Um, but, uh, they're really slow, and the damage is not really amazing. Like, compared to the damage you get dealt with when it fucking hits you, it's really kind of annoying, actually. What did he mean just now? Like, Never mind. We need to Juggernauts will deal damage. so much damage to you in ultimate mode, but they do minimal damage in, um, when you use it. It's really annoying, actually. We gotta go. Oh, give me this. I need the weapons. Uh. Oh, you could cut through the swamp. You could cut through the swamp, but uh, that would be not a good idea. We have to do something about the eastern path, or else our allies can't. If I had enough confidence in my abilities to not die after crossing the swamp, I tell I totally would cross the swamp. But there's no way. There's no way, dude. This pathway is bound to be full of enemy traps. Battle, the whole battle of Nanjong is just really annoying. But I'm glad they uh they kept it. Because the battle of Nanjong is like it's easily one of the most annoying battles, but it's fun. It's at least fun. This one is not that bad. Well, not that bad, but like it's not as fun as Dynasty Warriors 3 Nanjong. That's good fun. Very fucking annoying, but goddamn, is that a good battle? Very nicely done. Keep up the good work. 
You can see how excited I am to play some of the older games. Oh man, I wish, uh, I don't know if Grand Calabash is going to come back around, but if he does, I'm going to show him something that blew my mind. Something in my years of playing this game never knew. Never ever found out until just yesterday. Yeah, I know, I can't wait to. I'm going to be playing those, I don't know if I'll play Empires. I never played five Empires, but... I'm definitely going to be playing 5. Uh, what I wanted. Cool. Take a rock. But uh, eventually we are we are going to make our way to DW5. That's the next game after this one. Well, not right away, but eventually it's going to be that's going to be the game. So be sure to stick around for that, dude. Ah, one more. There we go. Uh, I missed my one officer with 20k troops, slaughtering six officers with 120k. <laughs> exactly, right? Exactly. I'm right elephant. Worst animal in this game. Easily the worst animal in this game. Yeah, it, I, I think, like, I mean, the future... Or, sorry, not future, but the recent Dynasty Warrior games, they still do a pretty good job of, like, one versus many, but now there's too many objectives and shit. There's too many, like, hey, go here, go there, do this, do that, and I'm just like, yo, man. Like, I just... Can I just do what I want? Me? I keep pushing the wrong button. Why would I talk to somebody that attacked me? Okay. I'm going to Alright, chat, I'm about to show you something. See this wall here? I've already kinda partially broke it. But you could break this fucking wall. I have never known that in the entire time playing this. You could break that wall. You could cut all of this. You could skip all of that bullshit that's at the end there. Like all fighting Mongol again, fighting Zhu Rong again. You could skip all of that. You can just walk in here. That's it. Mongol will kind of make fun of you for you know, like, oh, hey, you're running away. Whatever. I don't care. I don't want to fight Zhu Rong again. I want to finish this battle. Yeah, I can't believe I never knew that. What the fuck? How did he hit me? Oh. How did he hit me from so far away? I can't believe he hit me from so far away. I just noticed if I didn't notice that chat, I would have been so upset. I noticed him doing damage, like what the fuck is hitting me? Glad I raged. Glad I raged. Good rage. Okay. Oh, Monk Wall really wants to be anything, dude. He's uh he's looking for something. Alright, is this the battle of John Way? Oh, here we go. Alright, so chat, we're gonna go to ambition mode real quick and we're gonna buff up this man John Way. Because this guy sucks. Alright. Um And was so lucky to land <laughs> to land Zhu Rong. Well, we don't know if Zhu Rong actually existed though. Um change officer. I don't know if uh, Zhurong actually existed or not. Where's Sean Wei? Okay, so I... What is it that I need? Oh, what? There we go. I didn't... 
disappear. Okay. Uh, Velocity Flurry, Frenzy, Triumph, Induction, Explosive. I don't think she... Yeah, I don't think she did. Uh, sorry, chat. I might not be able to see you typing real quick because I have to have this pulled up. Just so I can... Um, I hope I have the requirements that I need. Um, okay, so these are the ones. So what is it that I need to get rid of? I have Velocity and Frenzy. I have... I need to get rid of aggression. I have flurry. So I need to put triumph, induction, and explosive. Triumph, induction. Triumph, induction, and explosive. Alright. Remember, chat, we need triumph, induction, and explosive. Triumph, induction, explosive. That's what we need. Uh, there's explosive. Replace it with that. Triumph. Induction explosive. Triumph induction explosive. Um, triumph induction explosive. Okay, you don't have what I need. It's gonna be a little hard because I recently sold a bunch of weapons. Triumph induction explosive. Oh, I'm trying to perfect. Yeah, we need to get rid of four. Uh, probably Monghuo had a queen, but probably not named... Yeah, I think he did. But the thing I... Real history is very, like, finicky. Uh, triumph, induction, explosive. That's what I need. I need induction right now. Induction, explosive. Sorry if I'm, like, not paying... Because I, if, I, if I don't keep telling myself what I need, I'm absolutely going to forget. Uh, triumph, induction, explosive. Uh, there's explosive. Perfect. Explosive is done. Triumph, induction, explosive. Oh, why is it on this weapon? Triumph, induction, explosive. Triumph, induction, explosive. Where is it? There's induction. Get rid of frenzy, right? We don't need frenzy. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, we need frenzy. What is it that I replaced this with? Oh, Triumph, Induction, Explosive. What am I replacing this with? What? Hold on, Triumph, Induction, Explosive. Oh, this weapon doesn't have Jubilation. Oh, I see. That's how he built it. Interesting. He built one weapon with Jubilation, the other one without Jubilation. Interesting. Okay, I got it. Alright, sure, I'll just go with what he recommends. Sure, why not? And the other weapon has jubilation. Okay, I got it. Got it. Triumph, induction, explosive. Alright, so we have triumph, induction, explosive on here. Let's see if we can find another triumph. And then... Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And then we can temper this. Cool. Alright, so let's move on to the other one. So this one is going to have Jubilation. Uh, this one will have Jubilation, Induction, Explosive. Induction, I think I just need to change Induction and Explosive. Induction, Explosive, yeah. That's all I need to change. Um, induction and Explosive, yes. That's all I need to change. Uh, induction and Explosive. Induction. Explosive. Nope. Explosive. No explosive. Perfect. Get rid of aggression. Okay. Just need induction explosive. Uh, induction. Perfect. We get rid of roar. Nope. And explosive. Oh, perfect. Perfect. All right. Cool. Now we just need induction. Uh, so yes. Um, yeah. So the the real history. Is very interesting. I think Monk Wu really actually wasn't as good of a king as like um, Koei likes to portray. I think actually a lot of his men didn't really like him. I think it was like a big thing. And even when it came to like Zhuge Liang forcing them to surrender, he was like, there wasn't much they could have done. Was it yeah, he wasn't he wasn't great. 
Right, so let's go to temper. I want to sell this one. Because that one's kind of annoying that it's there. Actually, I could just do this. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Awesome. That saves me a headache. Cool. All right, we have what we need. Time to sell a bunch of weapons. Nope, that's not. Nope. Uh, that, that. Uh, capture and release five times. What kind of king would allow himself to be done in? Like, <laughs> well, I mean, they didn't really have much, right? To be honest, like, there's not much they could have done. So, to be fair to Mong Guo, like, they just didn't have a lot. So if you're in the face of a, a giant enemy, what are you going to do, really? They did their best, though, with those straw hat, or straw troops, or whatever they had. Those guys, those straw troops that they had gave them quite the, quite the fight. God, why are these first? God, that's so annoying. Why isn't the weapon that I used at the top? It's really incredibly annoying. Just selling some weapons to get some extra money for John Way over here. But yeah, I mean, when you're faced with an enormous enemy that you can't really do much against, there's not, like, there's really not much you can do. Cool. Need as much money as possible to level up this man. Ooh. Oh, not the treasure pipe. No, 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 no. God damn it. Yeah, that's kind of weird how... Also kind of cringe that they put, like... You know, your weapons that you use, not at the top. Actually, really... Shitty. Uh, no, I don't want to sell that weapon. Oh, don't want to sell that weapon either. No. No. much money chat even not selling a lot you still get a lot of money just going through and doing this uh, you get my wall cool i wish i could have done this earlier but if i did i would have ruined the um i would have ruined the uh the level and i didn't want to do that no you did not miss death yet we just buffed up john way according to the video you sent me and we're just getting some money right now. Oh. To fund into this man. But you have not missed the death so far. I just showed off chat like one of the areas um, in the no in the um, the last battle that we just did. Um, that, like, I t completely blew my mind. Motivational quotes, she said, no motivational quotes for today. Give up if you want to. What the fuck? That's pretty funny. <laughs> no more motivational quotes for today. <laughs> That's a mood, dude. That is a mood. I respect that. That is a serious mood. I hate how the game doesn't let you have just a 5-star, 6-star weapon. I try to sell this, but they're like, you have must have one basic weapon. Fuck you. What the fuck? I don't understand that. Alright, we should have enough money now to just dump into this man. Uh... 
Yeah, that's enough. Yeah. I like how I have Zhang Zhao as the teacher, by the way. The way of peace. Zhang Zhao finally got what he wanted. He opened up an academy. Alright, let's see if uh, changing the weapon as per the instructions was um, beneficial. He also uses the 5 star, 6 star weapons, mind you. Um, I am did not have the time to do that, so... Also, the video shows the guy, like... Uh, jumping around, right? How is it? No, um... How, did, how does he do it? He, like, jumps around the battlefield so quickly. Oh, yeah, this is much better. This is a way better than, like, the fighting style I was using earlier. Okay. I gotta get used to his playstyle, though. Zhang Wei is a real complicated character. But I can see the damage is much more astronomical. Is it the second attack? That's the wrong one. Okay, is it third attack? There you go. I think that's what he does. One, two. One, two. Because his weapon just feels so awkward. Yeah, the guy jumps around the battlefield. I don't know how he fucking does it. I'm just not good at playing as John Way. He also uses the weapon switch a lot, too. Okay. I don't know really the reasoning behind the, the element stuff that he has, but... Whatever. Nope, I'm sure not. That's not what I wanted to do, actually, but whatever. Okay. At least he uh, gets away from enemies pretty quickly. Oh, that was... I can't believe the game gave me that. I can't believe the game gave me that too. I'm the game is being real fucking lenient with me. Holy shit. I should not have gone away with all of those weapon switch attacks. Hey, finally some good luck. Hell yeah. Feels good. Feels fucking good, dude. Yeah, so how does he jump around the battlefield? It's alright. in charge of this area. Uh, maybe I'm... Um... Mm. I think that's what he does. They do have tons of iframes. But, actually, Calabash, do you know how this is possible? When I watched the video, maybe he paused. Maybe he... No, actually, he was at the start of the battle. He started with full Muso and full Rage. And that guy started with full Muso, full Rage at the beginning of the battle. God, John Wei's weapon feels so weird. There's a... Uh, okay. But yeah, he started the battle with with Rage and Muso, so I don't know how how he had that. Cause I saw that, I was like, what the, what the fuck? Is man hacking? 
This man hacking? Did you watch this so I can have a guide when I play DW8XL? Uh, I can link the video in chat. This is just what Grand Calabash sent me yesterday. Oh, it's a bodyguard ability. Oh, okay. It was free mode. He was playing in free mode. Uh, but yeah, if you want to play Jean Wei like how I'm playing him, that's that's what I you literally used. I used that video. I didn't watch the video all the way. I just kind of... I still don't like Jean Wei at all because his attacks don't feel so fluid. Like, I feel like when I press the button, sometimes the... I feel like I have to really fucking thumb the button to get the attack that I want. Yeah, sometimes I feel like the button just doesn't activate. I think, does Sean Wei have Shadow Sprint? His, his weapon switch, though, is pretty good. I will say this. John Wei's weapon switch attack is pretty good. It's just... I don't know. He's, there's something about him, man. There's just something about John Wei that I don't really like. Here's a video for all officers. That's for dedication. Yeah, you know, there's... Again, there are some people who are fucking amazing at this game. Like... For me, I feel like I play the game decently, but there are people who are god tier at this game. Like, and it's it's not even like just playing the game. It's more like they play the game and figure out all the mechanics of it and all of that. I've I've never done that in my entire life playing Dynasty Warriors. Oh, did you block it? Oh no, he didn't block it. Oh, I wanted to use my Musa before he did. That kind of... Oh, we got him anyways. Alright, cool. End up working out for me. Thanks. Save your Musou for officers. Before they do anything. Any bullshit. And then... Don't use the Musou for these guys. That's what I've learned. And John Wei's R1 Musou is pretty, pretty good, actually. I saw the guy using the normal Musou a lot, though, so maybe I'll have to use that one instead. Uh, but he did use the normal Jean Wei Musou as opposed to the R1 one. Oh, he maybe he doesn't use the X attacks, I think. Yeah, John Wayne doesn't have a double jump either. I don't know how he does it. That guy flies across the battlefield. Oh, hey, free... free weapons, free gold. Oh, no, free XP, free gold. Cool. Take that. Question was, did he hurt things with the normal Musou, or did he use it? No, he hurt things. He would use a Musou, and the, um... Because John Wayne's Musou doesn't do... It's kind of the... His Musou doesn't do anything until the last hit. Like, you can poke someone for damage, um, but the Musa at the end has, kind of like with Zhao Yun's almost, it's, um, oof. so let me see if I can, and you have a lot of mobility with it. Yeah, see, it does pretty astronomical damage. And you have a lot of freedom to move the, uh, the Musa around. So John Wayne's Musso is is very solid at least. Now you see just how um, is my is. Because I think the best part about his Musso is the fact that you can move it. So once you activate it, you have some leniency to like actually guide it and stab the person you want to stab. But regardless of whether you stab the officer, it still does it in a high explosive damage. So let's get this treasure. I don't know what I did to deserve this treasure, but I'll take it. 
Oh goddammit, after this battle is the last battle. Uh, why couldn't we just do the last battle today? Damn it. Well, at least I went through this battle a lot easier than the first time I went with John Wei. So I gotta thank you, Calabash, for sending the video. I mean, we, we also buffed up John Wei a bit with the levels, but having this weapon, I feel like, has been a real blessing. Oh, he used a Muso. Oh, God, that could have been real bad. Alright, can you, like, stop blocking, man? Ooh. No, I don't want to be your opponent. Why am I fighting everyone at the same time? Cool. Also, like I said, it also like breaks through block too, which is incredible. Uh, is he switching weapons? He is. Can I kill him with a weapon switch? Oh, I certainly can. Oh, damn it. Yo, this went this battle has gone so much better than the first time I did it. Who's over here? Oh, a basic officer? Thank god. Cool. If I don't have to fight Joshu right away, that's great. No, I don't want to fight you, Joshu. Oh! This man scared the shit out of me. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, fuck you, Joshu. Oh my god. Hey, it's LP, you bitch. What's up? I'm back for round two. I fully support the aspirations of Shu. I am here to bring an end to Wei's path of conquest. I did not think that... God, this man on rage mode is ridiculous. Yeah, why not? Where is he? There he is. Fuck you. Alright, battle done. Woo! Alright, next battle is the last battle. Uh, fortunately, we don't have time tomorrow. Or today to finish it. Now you see just how prodigious my talent truly is. Damn, dude, damn it. Well, at least we finished it. Oh, we don't have to play Jean Wei anymore, thank god. Oh, I thought the game was gonna stop like. Uh, oh, Xiao Yun, how I've missed you, dude. How have I missed you? I fight so that honor may carry the day. For what it's worth, though, John Wei did do good damage. Um, I'm trying to think, chat. Um, yeah, I think stopping here is probably the best. Chat, you know what? Tomorrow, what we're gonna do? We're gonna play this game in an effort to finish it. And then, because obviously, if we if we do finish it, um, uh, we'll just go. We'll just launch into nine empires. Um, but yeah, I do want to really finish this game. So I think tomorrow we'll start off with this game at the beginning of the stream. If I die tomorrow, I won't keep going with it. I won't like reset or keep going. I'll just. I'll just launch into DW9 Empires. I miss Shaoyun. Yes, I agree. We finished Jin. We did finish Jin. We have finished all the kingdoms. Uh, what kind of evil is some of you do you think? Ooh, that's a good question. I didn't see that earlier. Sorry. Some of you, he's, um, I would say he's maybe neutral evil, right? He's not completely evil. I don't think some of you is evil. That man fights for what makes sense. In a time of a, in a time period where nothing makes sense, 
Why, Washington? You're a nobody. Stop it. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Ah. Nope. Uh, because he has to do... I mean, yeah, he's he's basically like... Well, Jia Chong is like him, right? You could say Jia Chong is very evil, but he did things that needed to be done. Uh, but yes, we finished every dynasty, though. Chong goes chaotic evil, no doubt. Yes, he is definitely chaotic evil. That man purely does what he wants. But some of the, yeah, I never really thought of him as evil, in all honesty. I never thought of that man as ever evil. Actually, compared to Jean Wei, I feel like I do way less damage, in all honesty, but I like playing as Zhao Yun so much more. We'll stop here for today. Yeah, we'll start here first thing tomorrow. I do have to take off. And today is a day, every Thursday now, I have to do these meetings at work, so I have to leave earlier to go to work, which is kind of annoying. So I especially have to make sure I get lunch and all that done as soon as possible. But, uh, oh, that's the wrong screen. But, uh, yeah! Woo! Thank God for that battle with the uh, with John Wei. I can't believe we got through that pretty easily. Uh, thank you, Aimless. You know what? I'm gonna like that video. I'm gonna like that video. That man deserves a like. Uh, yeah. Thank you for guys for being here. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I really hope that we can get. It's done, and if we get it done tomorrow, I will do the two thing. I will do the one thing that I that I mentioned. We're gonna play as one officer who's gonna be real, gonna be really interesting to play as. We're gonna do the battle Hulao Gate. Uh, try to beat Lubu with this character with this character, and then after that, we'll just launch into some nine empires, and I think that'll be a nice wrap. And then we'll talk about what game we play starting next week. You know, Monday through Thursday, what the next game will be. Uh, that being said, let's see, uh, who's, who's stramming right now? Up and up. Oh, interesting. Not a lot of people today. Right, let's give, uh, let's give Bruno some love. I like Bruno. Bruno's good people. Playing always some classic games, so. You can give some, uh, support to this man. He's super chill. Playing some Mega Man X8, I guess. I've never played Mega Man, so I don't know how that series works. But let's get this raid going. Anyways, thank you guys for stopping by. I know that normally start with nine empires, but I really, 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 really want to finish this game. So hopefully we can get it done and then uh, move on to nine empires. So thank you so much for everyone being here. Hope you have a great day, great night, and uh, peace. Get this raid. Stay for around for the raid if you can, please. Bye.